In this video, I'm going to go over how to keep a blood pressure log using a, an Excel spreadsheet. You might have the occasion of going to the doctor like I did this past uh, week and your blood pressure might have been high at the doctor's and uh, he might ask you to uh, maintain a log for a week or so and then go back and see the results. One thing for sure is you can't go by one reading. Research tells you that uh, blood pressure is generally higher at the doctor's office because most people, like myself, uh, feel nervous about going to the doctor. And there could be several reasons for that, or even the dentist. I've had some bad experiences when I was real young uh, at a dental office. So uh, again, uh, I don't like to go to the doctor or the uh, to the dentist. But anyway, this past week, uh, went to go check the results of uh, blood work I had done and um, everything was pretty much okay except my blood pressure reading was about 145 over 83, 84, something like that. Uh, I asked him to take it again and uh, later because at first, the, at first they drag you in there and then they put you on the scale, they weigh you and then they grab your arm, don't even give you a chance to relax and then they put you in one of the rooms, you wait for the doctor and again, he wasn't going to take the blood pressure, but I will go ahead and not. I went ahead and asked him to do it again. And he said, well, it's kind of about the same, but he didn't tell me what it was. Uh, he did tell me to keep a log. So anyway, uh, taking a regular uh, Excel spreadsheet. And, and this program here ran months of 2010, so it should work uh, pretty much the same. Uh, and the later versions, more recent versions. But here again, again, this is, uh, I, I mainly duplicated the form he gave me so I could keep it, uh, or maintain it for a week or so. So the date, the time, systolic, blood pressure, the top number, diastolic, the bottom number, then the pulse, and then he wanted the weight there. I just gave my morning weight, so that's what that represents. And then you go ahead and, and do the entries. Now I've set it up so that anytime I enter the a value, it automatically gives me an average of all the values in that column. Okay, so here I'm going to enter the, the morning values here for the systolic, okay, which was 128 over. So notice that when I click the next cell, it, it changes slightly there at the bottom. The 121 goes to 122 right there. Okay, so that's the average of all of these. And then the second value is 89. Again, click another cell, and you can see this one goes to 83. And then the pulse was 65. Okay, you can see how it changes here at the bottom. It's it's already set up. Okay. So again, uh, if you want to do it uh, long term, if you're concerned about your blood pressure, and you want to do it for more than a week or so. Uh, all you're going to do is sell here, right click, and you can insert as many rows as you want to give you more more room to enter the values. You got plenty, obviously, you got over a million rows here. You see, there's sort of plenty of space there. Columns are pretty good here, so we're good to go there. Uh, so, anyway, that's the way it works. Uh, the weight uh, here again was 164. This one I haven't calculated the average yet. I'm going to do it here with you so you can see how I do it. And then in the evening, again, I'm doing these uh, blood pressure monitoring in the morning, whenever, anytime in the morning, and, and then anytime in the evening, he told me. So this one was 130, a little bit higher. And click, and notice it stayed the same there. And then um, Second value was 86. Now it didn't change. And then the pulse was 85. And now it did change to 73 here. Okay. So now I'm going to do the uh, the weight here. But I wanted to show you what the formula is. So if you if I click on this cell right here, you can see what the formula is over here. So there's actually two formulas I, went, I, I I put in there. One is the average and then round it off. Okay, so here's how it works. So I'm going to put, click on this cell right here along this 
row here that has average, so that's going to get, I want the average of these values, the weight, which of course is going to be pretty close to 164 or so. So the way it works, when you're going to enter a formula, you got to put an equal, so it equals, and then I want average, so if you start typing average, a, v, then you see average right there. Okay, so just double click on that, and then you can just enter the the entries you want. So here you got F, and it goes to one, two. So this would be F two, then F three, F four. Okay, so you can go as far as you want. So you can just type those in, or you can highlight it this way, like that, and then just drag it down as far as you want. And I did it there up to 19. You can do it more. And then uh, close parentheses. And then hit enter. Okay, so there's my average. Okay. 163.6927. And again, if you wanted to say a whole number, we can do this. So I'm going to click on this. And then up here, you can see average. Okay. Okay, so I want to round this off. So the way it works is I click right in front of that average and type in round. Okay, I'm going to round off. Okay, so there it is. So I can double click on that. Okay, so now I put a comma here. And then I want to round out to the nearest whole number. Okay, so I put in a zero. That's the way it works. Close the parentheses and hit enter. Okay, so I rounded it out to 164. Okay, so if I were to enter the, let's say I make up a way to say I, I, I put in uh, 300 pounds. Okay, so it changes by that much. Okay, the average is just the average of all these entries in this particular column. And then I put in the actual weight which is 164 and uh, there it is okay so that's one way you can uh, maintain a blood pressure log using Excel obviously if you have a good uh, uh, blood pressure monitor I have home run OM, RON, which is a pretty good one uh, it'll keep entries in memory for say 100 to 200 depending on in my case it's it's 100 that's two persons and it keeps entries 100 per person but at the average it only calculates the average for the last three entries and only be within the last 10 minutes okay so this works nice because once you set up your formula you can do it for months at a time okay like i said you can just create more rows if you need more space and then as soon as you enter the, the value it computes your average okay well anyway that that's it uh, excel to maintain a uh, blood pressure log and i'll be talking a little bit more i got a few more things to say on, on blood pressure but uh, for now uh, thanks for watching we'll see you next time